So what exactly is the smoke supposed to do? To tie to your uterus. Uterus, or veins, you know. So you come here after you have a baby. Yeah. yeah. I have to say the warm feeling was cool. <laughs> But it was just like, the, even the warmth on your body from like this, like if you ever sat in front of a campfire or something, is super nice. But wow, it was a cra like with the butter melting and then like the honey everywhere. And it's, it's like very unique experience. You know, I wanted to come here and I wanted to have like a fun day with you guys, but I have to tell you that I'm going back to the US. I mean, he has a hernia, he needs surgery on his hernia. Everyone knows my dad at the hospital. He'll get the best care possible there. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm speechless. Yeah. Yeah. I want to do the right thing for him. How long you will stay there? They're there for like one month and I'm coming back. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm coming back. I wouldn't do that to your brother. Yeah, it's because of he had a bad scar, you know, from his I past. Know. So. But if you really know me, you know I wouldn't do that. Yeah, I mean, people change their mind. I'm telling you, face to face. You know, if you hate us, just... I don't hate you, Wish. Just leave us to see Avi. I don't hate you guys at all. I mean, like, after... You bring your ex and we mad at you and you mad at us and I feel like you're gonna take him forever. I hope uh, you come back. Like, I don't want to make you feel sad. You're my sister, you're a great sister-in-law, but our relationship is up. We have so many misunderstandings and like, I just, I'm hoping, my hope is that when I come back, we, we all can start over again. No matter what we did, just don't take him forever. And Beanie, he, um, he would get, he would lose his mind. He would get crazy. I don't want to take Avi forever. You'll see, when I come back, you'll see. I hope so. I understand that the entire family is traumatized by Beanie's ex-wife leaving, but it's really hurtful that even after giving up my whole life in the U.S. and moving here to Ethiopia and trying to adapt to their culture, nobody trusts me.